Welcome back to Cold Fear, everybody. When we last left off, we'd managed to get the cure for our friend, Anna. Uh, the antidote could stop the contamination process. So now we've just got to get all the way back to her, I guess. And it looks like there's a lot more zombies and badniks that have spawned in the environment, which is uh, curious. So let's be a little bit delicate about this. What have we got here? Code for the experimental chamber PC. Ah, nice. Do you have anything for me, sir? Pistol ammo. Okay, was not expecting you to have literally anything for me whatsoever. Oh, hello. Do not like these things. They kind of remind me of the enemies from Carrier, actually. Kind of interesting how similar to Carrier this game actually is, in a lot of ways. Um, I think, honestly, Carrier is the better game. It's just more fun. Oh, fuck. Yeah, these things aren't that deadly. Where the fuck is it? Annoying, yes. Deadly, not really. Um. Right. I mean, there we go. Yeah, my god, those things are just absurdly irritating. Okay. Right, let's get out of here. Taking a lot of health damage. Which isn't great. Oh, fuck. How did you... Dude. How did you jump through the floor? What do you know? It's great. Oof. Yeah, that worked. I'm kind of glad that worked, because now we're apparently down here, all burned up. Are all these guys burned up? Pistol ammo? Yeah, all these guys are burned up. Alright. Damn it. Damn it! All of my stuff. It's all fried. Okay. So how the hell do we get... Ah. You know, the door, I suppose, makes sense. Got a health kit. We'll have. We'll have it. Alright, I bet we've got more of those invisible fuckers flying around. Now, the AK is quite a cool weapon, actually. I am enjoying the AK. And there's some more spear gun ammo. Cool. It's unlocked. Good. Good. Uh oh. Say something big and nasty is making a lot of noise. Got a bathtub. Not sure why we've got a bathtub, but hey. Apparently that's a thing. Right, so you guys are obviously going to smash out of here. What the fuck is that? The hell was that thing? Apparently we can search those. Which is cool. Who said that? Look, if you want me to kill you, I'm happy to oblige. So that dude was still in two pieces and he was like still alive. Oof. Right. Uh-oh. Not exactly what I wanted to happen. Dude. Right, that's what we wanted. Yeah, you enjoy that, dude. I'm going to roast your ass.
Come on, burn. Burn. Okay. That flamethrower, man. That flamethrower is where it is. Ammo for the AK. Nice. We're doing all these people a service by putting a bullet in them. Oh, look at this place. Sorry, buddy. A submachine gun clip. Nice. What the fuck are these monkey things? Oh, look at that. Wish we could zoom in a bit, but... Ah, oh, dude. Can we... No. We can't. Doesn't have any ammo. So these holding pens, I was hoping we could get in them. But that's fine. Anything this side? Not really. Now these things are bizarre. You can see like where they're still semi-human and they've got bullets on them as well, which is kind of unusual. See like a weird monkey boy with uh, bullets. More spear gun ammo. Jesus. Thank you very much. I guess the shit's going to hit the fan when we turn that. There's no way all these guys aren't going to jump out. No way. Really? Alright. I was going to say, that's too easy. That's like a jump scare that plays itself. Right. I'm not sure if this stuff is electrified. It does not appear to be electrified at all. Oh, fuck. Really? Right, well, your head's gone. Oh, fucking hell. How many of these cunts is there? Right, let's use one of those. Okay, I don't think those are bothered. Oh, great. Yeah, I don't think those things are actually affected. Really? Come on, you little fucker. Oh. God, God, man. We have some bullets around here. <sighs> Need to be very careful about hitting that electric, electric stuff. Right, what have we got left? Shotgun. Okay. Can't play with that. What have we got? We've got a med kit, which is nice. My god, man. Don't know if I want to actually electrify this. I guess if we electrify it, we ain't coming back here. But I guess that means... Yeah. Okay, that was actually a limited time thing. Jeez, I wish I knew that. Okay, shotgun shells. Don't mind if I do. Alright, Tom, let's go, buddy. Yes. Yes, I do. See what I mean by how inconsistent the save spots are. But then I guess that's because we're about to fight these motherfuckers. Oh, boy. So, I'm guessing these are the big armored things that are very difficult to hurt. I'm guessing we have to shoot them in the limbs. The big limb or the little limb? I guess we're going to find out. wonder what would happen if we actually put the antidote into these things. Uh, 
What's the... Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, we're dead. We are so dead. These things are savage when they suck your blood. Yeah, I think... I think we're screwed. I'm not sure what's giving me that impression. I just have a slight inkling that we're fucked. Yeah. We've got literally no health to deal with this guy. <laughs> yeah. I think we all saw how that was going to go. Ugh. Missing in action. More like pasted all over the fucking floor. Right. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to suck. And I mean proper suck. Right, we need to kill those. Right, let's get one of these ready. And hopefully we can distract them straight away. Because... <sighs> Oh, we got nothing. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, um... Right, okay. Can you guys, like, spawn, please? Do we have to fight all of these guys? Right, he only spawns when we get to that door. Got ya. One of the holding cells has been breached. No shit. Right, there's one. Ha! Huh. Really? Hey, he wasn't very hard. The damn thing's stuck. Okay, color me surprised about that guy. So, what does that say? To the scientific module. Right. Can we like have some? Oh. Oh. That was cool. Okay. Stuck. Yeah, we ain't getting through there. Now, what do we have? A report about Exocell life cycle. Or life cycle, I should say. Uh, the official report on the Exocell's life cycle and reproduction, Dr. Kamsky. And uh, our friend Balaclava there as well. There are two main phases to the exocell life cycle, reproduction and contamination. To reproduce, the exocell transforms itself into what we now call breeders. Stationary organic structures of potentially considerable size, basically shapeless and particularly repulsive in appearance. When the exocells enter this phase, they find a safe, isolated location, usually high up, attach themselves firmly to it with their tendrils and immediately start growing. The breeder starts hatching out new contaminators within 24 hours through an asexual budding process. Uh, contaminators are small, fast and highly mobile. When attacked, they curl up into what could be called a fetal position, exposing a hard external shell, which is quite soft and vulnerable on the inside. Their mission is to find a host. Uh, infect it parasitically, feed on it from the inside. It may need to repeat the process several times, but eventually this process, uh, this produces an adult mature exocell, ready to settle down as a breeder and start producing more contaminators. Physically speaking, contaminators are weak and as a result can only contaminate dead, dying or weakened host. Healthy, strong organisms can easily fight them off. This explains why hungry exocells Seek to weaken their prey before contaminating it. Once the Excel has interrogated or integrated its host, and up to seven can share a single host, 
Ooh. It effectively takes control of it by sending tendrils up into the host's brain. Thus, to permanently eliminate an affected host, its brain must be destroyed. In fact, the host's other body parts are all but indestructible. Muscle mass has increased at a spectacular rate and bruised or in injured tissue heals almost immediately. As Professor Nikolai explained during our last encounter, this process requires large amounts of protein. Human protein is naturally preferred since it will be building human cells as a precaution. The contaminators also shut down their host's higher brain functions, essentially, uh, in essentially there we go, switching off the host's personality. The body is left to defend itself and find food. Moreover, it seems that during a more advanced stage of mutation process, the contaminators uh, reactivate, reactivate certain of their host's intellectual functions, turning them to their advantage to perceive space, use tools, and even devise communicative strategies. One of the main benefits of this is to facilitate the search for new potential hosts by attacking, wounding, and killing other healthy humans. Uh, as indicated above, even bodies that are dead but otherwise good condition can be reanimated by the exocells, which energize the host's nervous uh, system and muscular systems. The tendrils in the brain turn the corpse into a extension of the exocells body in sorts of a monstrous symbiosis. Bodies frozen for months or even years could conceivably, conceivably be used in this fashion by the contaminators. Fuck me. At a certain stage in the mutation, which varies according to individual hosts, this process is uh, reversed. The contaminators escape from the host's body, which enters a state of rapid putrefaction. The same occurs when an exocell is forcibly extracted from a body, usually by destroying the host's brain or by burning it entirely. While we are learning more each day, our results are highly promising. Obviously, the next stage is to control the whole process to obtain what we are all striving for. We remain confident. Yeah. Yeah, good luck with that, guys. Fucking morons. Okay. Ooh. Hello. Oh, God. Say, check your corners. Get out of here. Pistol ammo. I'll have it. My God, this game is just sometimes, like, unbearably loud. Okay. So let's extend the bridge. Well, this looks safe. Safe as fucking houses, mate. Right, okay, let's go. Run. Okay. 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 Ouch. My brain. Come on. Alright. When you got them bit of space to maneuver those guys don't seem that hard and where did the game last save oh no oh come on man I gotta fight this fucking dick oh wait hang on oh we do god damn it man like, that's so fucking cheap and cheesy. Uh, what have we got here? Right. It's definitely one of those games that's beyond frustrating to play. Like, a game that requires trial and error, but you have to keep playing certain sections over and over and over again, which I guess is the definition of trial and error, but... It has a weird difficulty, this game. It's not hard for the right reasons. Okay, now we've got to fight this fucker. Do we actually have to fight him, actually? Yeah, we do, because they lock the place down, don't they? 
Uh, right, okay. Let's go back through there. The no, we can't go through stuck. there. What one was it? Was it here? Oh! We didn't go in here before. Alright. Pistol ammo. More pistol ammo. Ugh. The damn thing's stuck. Okay. I mean, I had no idea what we've just pushed. Or what that's actually done. Kind of curious. Sure, we pushed something. I don't really want to waste any bullets. Okay, that's weird. So there is something to do in here, by all accounts. Just not 100% sure what. A scientific log. Oh, Jesus. Right, where's that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Get comfortable. Experimental log. Subject series G3. Experimental subject G301. Control subject. Yeah, yeah. Was sedated, then deliberately infected, forced ingestion. Received no antidote. Showed first signs of metamorphosis within 20 minutes. Base phase of metamorphosis is complete within two hours. Symptoms. Increased muscle mass. Regeneration of tissue after injury. Modification. Uh, of internal organs, excessive hunger for protein, shutdown of all higher brain functions. Okay, experimental subject G2 received 20 mils of serum A9, side effect, mild thoracic skin rash. Mm -hmm. Test subject G killed himself by repeatedly bashing his head against the bars of his cell once infected, no data collected. Experiment G304. Subject was sedated and then contaminated by forced ingestion. Received 20 mils of serum A9B. Visible mutations after 14 minutes, but did not continue along expected track. Mutation continued in an asymmetrical pattern, causing disproportionate development of the upper left limb. The contaminating agent seems to have been infected this limb and multiplied multiplied it oh contaminating agent seems to have infected his limb and multiplied within it subjects entire body showed great resistance including exposure to fire only the left arm showed any signs of vulnerability subject destroyed after 15 days of obse uh, observation so, uh, risk too great so subject 05 subject was injected with 20 mils of serum A9 then put down Subject was infected post humongously. Exocell demonstrated its ability to revive the corpse in otherwise good condition. Serum had no apparent effect. G6. Subject was sedated and then contaminated by, foreign, by a forced ingestion. Injections 10 mils of serum A9B and 10 mils of A10, neurotransmitter blocker. Onset of mutation was delayed for 9 hours 32 minutes. Symptoms increased muscle mass, aggression, improved regenerative properties, pigmentation, uh, alteration of skin and eyes, reduced higher brain activity, uh, especially con uh, continent functions. The section revealed tendrils along the spinal column, but in a deteriorated form. Hmm. Interesting. Oof. This could be the breakthrough we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. This could be. I mean, these logs are interesting. I do like them. But I think we're almost out of time here. And the chances of us finding another bloody checkpoint are so remote. Is it this one that we also went into? No. Oh, apparently. Yeah, this was the other one, so grab that. Uh, right. Hit the switch. 
because you might as well fry all of these things. No point letting them live. Now this thing, oh Jesus. The trouble is we don't have like anything to really fight with. The spear gun isn't that effective against it. Although we could try it again, you know, for science. Let's try the spear gun again. So it's only his red arm that is uh, that can be hurt. Which is fine. Although it's not that fine. Right. Yeah, they're not actually as tough as you think. It's just being able to get around them that's the trouble. Oh, wait. We didn't... We didn't go through here, did we? You, you're bloody immune to that. You are immune. <sighs> really? God, I hate these things. God, I hate these things. Right, you're done. Okay, so I don't know if we're going the right way. I have no idea if we're going the right way. We also don't have a lot of ammo to fight these fucking things with. Four shells. Okay. So we can, like, we're going a completely different way now. Blame for our ammo, fine. Health, I guess. A note about the yellow steam valves. Major well, I appreciate the fact that your men have effectively ceased vandalizing the red fuel pipe valves. I am most disappointed to learn that they now turn their targets on the yellow steam. Uh, these are, if anything, more dangerous and troublesome to repair. I realize that labor costs are not an issue here. However, I prefer our men to serve the interest of Kamsky's experiments rather than being burned to death by jets of hot vapor. Furthermore, the scientists run the risk of accidentally of an accident at any moment. Yeah. It's definitely easy to miss um, a room here. There's another save point here. Like, so. Uh, I'm wondering if I say no. No, we will save it. I'm very curious to see if we can say no to that. And will that trigger that save point every time we go through that door? Will it ask us if we want to save? Or if we say no, has that save point been denied for good? I don't know. Okay, so there's another door to extend a platform that we can do if we go back the other way. So I don't know what's through this way. Man, I wish we had a map. I really wish we had a map or something. Hmm. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to leave it there because we're on like half an hour now. This game's fun. It's, yeah, it's archaic, shall we say. It's, it hasn't aged very well, uh, I don't think. Um, there definitely is not much of an incentive to... Um, to explore and I definitely get the feeling that you can um, miss areas as well because you know you never really 100% sure of where you're supposed to be going um, hmm that with the enemies as well which are the enemies are, are, are not they're not brilliant to fight they're okay um, you've got your main zombies which are cool uh, they're okay. You've got the invisible guys, which suck. Because you can only kill them by hitting them in the head. And apparently they're immune to fire as well, which sucks. The big guys aren't too bad. But they can one-hit you. Uh, obviously, if they boop you off um, a tall place, I suppose. Or like if they can knock you down somewhere. That's kind of cheap given the save system. It's really shitty.
and you never know when something big's going to jump out at you. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's kind of falling apart a bit, but I think we are fairly close to the end of the game anyway. Um, I think I would have enjoyed this back in the day. I think, I still think the the save system would have pissed me off too much. Um, I'm not I'm not a hundred percent convinced if I would have finished it back in the day. It definitely hasn't aged as well as something like um, Dead Space or Resident Evil or Silent Hill. It, it's it's not up there with those games, but. I mean, it's okay for what it is. Anyway, guys, till next time.